What's up, people? I've got a really cool device to show you. I've already taken it out of the box, but I'm gonna talk about this thing because it's the best CarPlay device that I've tested to date, okay? Every other one that I've tested, some of them were good, some of them were eh. Uh, one was really good. This one's the best. So here's the box. I've already taken it out. Um, I've been testing this thing for about two months now. This is called the Car Multimedia Player. This is what the box looks like. If you want to stop and pause and read all that, uh, I can go over it real quickly with you. It is a, a wireless CarPlay device, wireless Android Auto, DVR, which means front and rear dash cam, okay? It's got Bluetooth. It's got a multimedia input ports. It's got a voice command, which is pretty cool. The, tent, the camera is 1080p front and back. It's got a touchscreen, which there's no lag. It's got automotive specification chip, not gonna lie, don't even know what that is. Power supplied by cigarette lighter, so you cannot hardwire this. Cigarette lighter adapter only. It gets seven to 32 volt adaptive voltage and adapts to all models, okay? And this thing is absolutely awesome. I already have it up. And I'm gonna start off right away with what I don't like about this thing after I show you this. And then everything else is gonna be what I love about it but there's always gonna be negative with every review. And right off the bat, this is the mount. First of all, this is the device. Check it out. There's the back. Here's your camera, which moves. Your dash cam absolutely, oops, I just turned off the power. Dash cam moves, so you can adjust it. So if you're real anal and you want it perfectly straight and level, you can adjust it once you mount this. The speakers on the back of this thing are super loud. You have the ability to stream the audio from this device over an FM station or an auxiliary cable, which is provided. Here's the front. Check this out. Look how big that screen is. This is the CarPlay for my Apple phone right now. And how this mounts is with this mount, this 3M sticky tape, which has got cardboard on it, because I put it on the box for a second and it peeled it off. It's very, very strong. If you use this, you're not gonna have to use the screw holes that it does provide but it comes mounted like this. Now there's a reason why I took this off and I took it off about a month ago because the gears in my head are moving around. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna try to make a custom mount. The one thing I did not like is that it has to be mounted like this, flat on your dash, okay? Didn't like that. I wanted the ability to have it um, customizable. I'm not talking about a, a suction cup mount, which would be nice, the ability to have a mount somehow or you know, something a little bit better than this. Um, it's nice, it's good, it's sturdy, it, it locks it down, but I wanted something different. This is not really a con. It's the only thing I could find wrong with this thing is that I didn't like this 100%. Everything else, we don't need to talk about that. This is awesome. Now, it comes with a rear camera. Look at the cable on this thing. I, you don't need all this, at least I don't. Even in the Wagoneer, this is way too much cable. But let's demonstrate first the CarPlay, okay? It does have Android Auto, but let's just tap the screen and let's say we wanna go, go to where I was yesterday, click that. Um, but just like that. So there's no lag. There is zero lag with using uh, Waze or any of the GPS on here linked to your phone. The Bluetooth to your phone, no lag. It's going to be instantaneous. It's really, really quick. Uh, I was blown away at that. The touchscreen has no lag in it. So for those of you that have a classic car and you're like, I need a CarPlay or I want CarPlay or Android Auto in my vehicle, this is the way to go. So you get more than just CarPlay with this ability. You can stream your vi like video to this from your phone. Let me hit the home button and show you all the different choices. So you have CarPlay, you have Android Auto, DVR is your dash cam. We're gonna demonstrate that next. It has playback for your files. It has um, car uh, Apple AirPlay, Android Cast, Bluetooth music, and Wi-Fi video, okay? It also has the ability for your phone to not only connect to the Bluetooth, but connect via its built-in Wi-Fi so you can stream directly from your phone. Let's go to the dash cam, because this is what really makes this stand out above all else. Click on the DVR, it brings up the dash cam, right? There is this. But to highlight how good this is, we're gonna plug in 
the rear camera here. All right, we're gonna mount this up on the dash so I can show you real quick. So we can demonstrate this really fast. Let me get this camera. Uh, there we go. Look at that. So here we are over here on this camera, right? As you can see. Hi. That's the rear facing camera that you can mount. And then over here, you have split screen option, but you can change this. You can just tap the screen, go down here, and then you get, get the full screen, which is ridiculously crystal clear. Very nice camera. Click it again. And then you got the rear camera. So if you're driving down the road and you want to use this as your rear view mirror, so if somebody behind you has their high beams on, you don't want to look in the, the rear view mirror, you can use your rear dash cam. See, pretty cool. Um, and then again, if you click it, you can go back to split screen. On the bottom, you have your microphone, you have play or stop. You can lock files, unlock files, and you can down here on the left, you can stop the recording, which is automatic. You see the button on the top? It'll start recording automatically when you plug this in. But this is a really awesome device. And you can see as there's no lag whatsoever. So I click that, it, it snaps right over into whatever app you want to use. I can click down here and I can cycle through whatever apps I want. Okay, I can go like that over here. Smart screen, that'll take you back to your home or you can click home, either one. All right, but there you go. Absolutely a great, great device. Okay, like I've said, let me take this off here. Like I said, I've tested numerous CarPlay devices up to this point, and a couple of them I really liked, and I've recommended them to you guys. This now is the one that I recommend. Just the mere fact that it does everything all the other ones did, plus a front and rear dash cam, are you kidding me? So if you have a classic car and you were looking to get CarPlay, and you were also trying to kill two birds with one stone, and you were like, you know what, I also need a dash cam. This device is the way to go. So I'm not gonna drag this video out. There is really nothing negative to talk about. I just didn't like the mount as much as I could. That's really not a con in this situation. And when I had it mounted on my dash during testing, this thing would not move. It was solid, it didn't come off. When I peeled it off, I was afraid I was gonna pull the darn metal plate that I have on the front of my Jeep here off. Very, very sturdy, very strong. It does have the ability to be screwed down if you wanna make it more permanent though, okay? But two months of testing off and on, I couldn't find any flaws with it. I absolutely love it. I have some plans to, to mount this a different way. So you may see a second video down the road coming with some custom stuff to this, but Great, great device, great device. I can't say anything bad about it. This is what it looks like, the box, the car multimedia player. I wanna, I wanna thank the company that sent this out to me. I was a little hesitant at first, but listen, they've got a quality product here that I recommend. I, I might do a giveaway, I might do a giveaway. I, I haven't done a giveaway in a while, but I'm building up some items here that I may just do a mass giveaway. So this would probably be one of them. Anyway, let me know what you guys and girls think down in the comment section. Is there anything that I missed on this video that you would like answered? Ask away down below. Honest to God, you don't have to be all technical about this. If you buy it, you open a box up, you literally mount it, okay? And just plug it in the cigarette lighter. It's gonna pop up. It's going to give you instructions on screen. You don't even have to read the manual. On screen, it's gonna tell you how to connect to both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for your particular phone, whether it's Android or Apple. So you don't even need to read a manual for this thing. You're gonna be up and running at about 30 seconds to a minute. And as soon as you plug it in, it's gonna start recording. Now you do wanna put in a micro SD card because it does have, I believe, some internal uh, memory could be wrong. Do I have a slot? I do have a, a card in there. Um, so you do want to put a, a, a decent size micro SD card in there. Go into the settings, play around with the settings. Do you want one minute, three minute, or five minute looped video? How you would like to do your settings for your DVR or dash cam. Set it up however you want to wire it and then go from there. I mean, it's really a very quick, awesome device. So that's all I got.
Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Before you go, click that like button, click that little bell notification. If you like the content that we put out, please click the super thanks button below. Don't forget to click subscribe. Last but not least, you guys and girls all be safe. That's all I got. I'm out.